Well, hello, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back. Jujitsu 2000 here today. I'm back, and I hope you guys are doing fantastic out there. In this video today, we're going to take a look at this brand new Ozark Trail two burner propane camp stove that I just picked up. It's got two 10,000 BTU stainless steel burners and they're three and an eighth inch. That's pretty cool. A little bit bigger in, in diameter. Very cool. 200 square inch chrome plated cooking surface, durable steel body with wind guards and it'll last up to one hour on high using a one pound cylinder. That's not very efficient actually. One hour? But hey, I paid $27 for this stove. So I thought, well, it, sometimes you come across a deal and you just can't pass it up. So it says 26 inches wide, 14 inches deep, and uh, 14 inches high. I'm guessing that's this here. Or 66 centimeters by 35.5 centimeters by 35.5 centimeters. So let's go ahead and open this box. I just love having stoves and cooking and I just that's just one of the things I really enjoy doing. So there's nothing left in the package. As you can see it came packaged pretty nice. Got these little inserts here. It comes with some plastic around it. It's a very bare bones kind of a stove. You've got the grate on the bottom here. It's kind of cool. Very thin, but I mean for 27 bucks. I think that'll do what you need it to do. There's a owner's manual here. So there's the owner's manual. And the little regulator right here. So it's a little different than a Coleman one. It's got a little bit different of a of a connection. It looks like it's aluminum. Feels fine. Doesn't feel like there's any problems or anything. Looking at the bottom of the stove nothing wrong there I mean you got your pipes that come in and it goes to the burners pretty basic you've got two knobs there's no piezo igniter or anything like that on this stove so I'm going to turn those knobs off it appears that these legs just swing out and flip underneath not too bad it's kind of interesting interesting little design let me set this box aside so we'll open this up. The top is kind of thin. And these little supports come out and they plug in right there. Right there on the side. Got these little snaps. Uh, the metal fills about the same thickness as what you would find on a Coleman. So those just pop in. Gosh, those are a little tough to get in. Maybe because this thing's brand new. I like the surface area and the burners are good size. Do these thread? It doesn't look like they unthread like the Coleman one. So the grate, how does the grate fit? I'm guessing it just sits in these four holes. That's it. That's pretty much it, I think. It just sits in those four holes, it looks like. Pretty simple. So then over here, you have your connection point where you can make the connection with this regulator. There's an O-ring right there. So we'll just stick that in there. Just like that. And then we'll tighten this down. And I'm not gonna make it super tight. I'm just gonna hand tighten it. I don't believe that there's probably a need to have a wrench or anything like that to get this thing to fire up. Let's plug in this propane bottle. I can tell you that I like the Coleman a lot better. It's, uh, it seems to have better build quality and stuff, but I'm not saying this is a bad stove or anything like that. Just saying I think the Coleman might be a little bit nicer. But the Coleman is not $27. So if you're going to be camping and 
you want something inexpensive looks like these burners are doing pretty good you know for 27 bucks I think it's a good purchase it's something good to have uh, as a backup you never know when you might need to cook and propane is an option that you can store away you can have bottles sitting there and in the event that you need it it's there honestly I'm pretty impressed for the price point I think it's doing pretty good I'm gonna get a pot with some water and we're gonna do a boil test on this stove let's go ahead and get started here I got 32 ounces of water I sure wish that the new Gatorade bottles were still 32 ounces they've cut them back to 28 ounces and that's frustrating so I'm gonna set this on the on the stove there and we're gonna crank this bad boy up and we will start our timer so we're gonna find out how long it'll take to boil 32 ounces of water close to that heavy rolling boil in fact I'm gonna go ahead and stop the timer five minutes and 25 seconds to reach a heavy rolling boil that's not too bad for one liter of water okay let's take a closer look at the flame control as you can see we are down to a nice little simmer I mean it gets way down there it does kind of bounce back a little bit and that's typical on propane stoves but I mean there's a lot of control here not too bad it has plenty of power I, I don't see that this stove would give any problems cooking I mean I think it's going to be capable of doing whatever you need to do I do most of my cooking kind of on a lower flame anyway so I tend to look at the lower side of things instead of the high side of things I mean I'm not just about boiling water I mean, of course if you're just trying to make a cup of coffee or make some water to boil noodles or something that's another thing but I like seeing a nice flame control and so far for 27 bucks uh, this thing's doing a pretty good job so I'm pretty impressed for for the price point so let's take a look and see how these connect you just pop them down and they snap right into place and then when you're done you just pull straight up they work pretty good actually so not too bad this grate is probably still a little bit warm well no it's actually cool enough to the touch those fold down this goes down like that and then I like how the legs are the legs are used to hold everything together just flip the leg around and it holds that door shut which is pretty cool of a, of a design flip it over there's these little catches on the side which will hold the grate in place so very nice and then the regulator just sits right something, something like this it's got a little spot that holds it so it's it's not bad at all everything fits right in there and put it back in the box and put it away and then when you need a propane stove to do something pull this bad boy out so my final thoughts on this stove for the price point of $27 I think it's fantastic you're able to boil one liter of water in five and a half minutes I mean that's acceptable the quality of the build is fair it's not you know like a Coleman or nothing but if if you're trying to just throw it in the back of the truck and go camping and you're gonna beat it up a little bit and you don't want to worry about it getting scratched or things boiling over or whatever this is perfect. 
But as far as I can tell, this stove does a good job. The flame control is decent. The build quality is decent. I like it. So thumbs up for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please feel free to leave your comments down below. Like this video. Share this video. And until next time, I hope you guys have a beautiful day. We'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.